Hello, this is Joe Hildreth, and welcome to episode 5 of the Joomla 3X, uh, Exploring Joomla 3X. So, in this episode, we're going to talk about um, the file structure a little bit, uh, how Joomla is laid out, uh, just a general overview. I think that um, when it comes time to develop extensions for Joomla, uh, it's beneficial to know uh, how the file structure is, and or what it is, and how it works. So, as you recall, in the episode where we downloaded and installed Joomla, um, I have uh, the zip archive here in um, my downloads folder. I'm just going to extract a copy here. And the reason why I'm going to do this instead of using the one that we've installed up here in Joomdev is that uh, you know when we installed, we removed the installation folder. And I do just want to make um, brief um, uh, remarks about the installation folder. So we're going to go in here and let's let's take a look here and see what we got, and uh, and discuss these a little bit. So the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, or make mention is that uh, um, Joomla, when you download it uh, from Joomla.org, consists of three uh, applications. You have the site application. The site application is what the user sees, you know, when they type in joom.dev and they see the front end. So the site application, sometimes called the uh, front end. You have the administrator application, um, sometimes called the back end. And then you have the uh, uh, install application. So if, if we look in the root of this uh, extraction that we just done and take a look at index.php, if we type in joom.dev, we know that this index.php file loads. And let's just open this with gedit because the only thing I want to point out here is down here it says uh, app equals jfactory get application site. So this is the site application. Okay. Uh, again, if we go to administrator and look at its index.php and open it, we'll see that this is um, the administrator application. So we see that by the jfactory get application at administrator. And then finally, if we come over here into the installation folder and take a look at its index.php and scroll down, we'll see the get instance of ins installation application web or the install app. So um, by by setting the uh, instance of the application uh, to a name, Joomla can tell um, or you can uh, find out from Joomla whether or not if a component uh, or script is being run from the front end or the back end or or whatever and it's entirely possible to use the Joomla framework to write uh, uh, entirely independent applications but that will be um, beyond the scope of these tutorials so let's talk about the folders that are created when we install Joomla so first we have the administrator folder the administrator folder and all the folders that it contains or uh, run the administrator application. Okay, and we'll come back to this one here in just a little bit. The bin folder holds the keychain class and it's used by Joomla um, when it needs to uh, load or store data to an encrypted data source. Uh, there's one file in there called uh, keychain.php um, and you can uh, uh, set up uh, the keys and stuff by using that class. I don't know a lot about it. I know that uh, Joomla uh, the framework can use it, and so maybe that's something that uh, I should take the time to learn a little bit more about. The cache folder um, holds uh, cached information that Joomla builds. So when it builds a web page, if that web page is not uh, uh, going to change often, we can actually uh, cache the component or the module or, or whatever uh, in here so that the next time Joomla is asked to, hey, show me this article on, I don't know, nuclear fission, uh, and the article doesn't really change much, it can hold it in here and then it just automatically it, it has the the data that it needs to build it and it serves the page faster to you. Uh, and then after a while you know the cache expires and, and goes on. So anyway that's what the cache folder is for. The CLI uh, is for command line scripts. Now these are um, these would be scripts that you would want to interact with your Joomla site outside of the normal um, 
web page. Uh, for example, let's say that you've created a component and it's a, it's a game and it's a turn-based game. So you give everybody uh, so much time to uh, take their turn and then you have to go in and you, you need to uh, manipulate the database or the data around and you would run um, a PHP script with a uh, with maybe the cron daemon uh, if you're on uh, Linux or Unix um, or at maybe the at scheduler if you're on Windows I guess I'm not sure um, but anyway it would allow you to interact with uh, the Joomla database and the Joomla components and by being in here it would have access to uh, the same classes that your normal component or module application would. Components are um, this is where all the sites um, uh, application components uh, reside and inside components you'll find one folder for each uh, component that's installed and they're all prefixed with com for component so um, here we'll see the com content component would be for like web pages this is for contacts um, the finder for um, the advanced search, the com search for the old search, the users, etc. So that's where all the components live. And when we write components, uh, we will be creating a com whatever component name that we come up with, and it, it will be installed into this folder along with the rest of them. Images are where resources um, are assets for your uh, web pages and your components and modules are normally s stored. Now I view this here as a place to store um, um, resources that might change. So maybe um, you know we allow the user to select a uh, an image, a particular style of image for something or or <clears throat> they can add images to your component or something like that and something that could change is and they would be um, placed under the images folder. So normally you know you see um, you know, you might have, uh, you might make a folder down here for your component or your your um, module, you know, uh, to, to hold those. But the the thing to keep in mind here is this is, uh, uh, I, in my mind, is where you'd want to keep uh, image and other assets that might change in time. Uh, the includes folder um, contains all the bootstrap code that uh, Joomla needs to start and basically you, know, you have the defines and it loads the framework and it kind of goes from there the framework will check to see if uh, a config uh, a configuration.php file exists if it does not it looks for the installation folder and then if the installation folder isn't there then it will throw an error so that's kind of but basically that's that's what happens all, all the um, uh, all the defines um, that uh, Joomla needs to run and, and the actual framework uh, bootstrap uh, softwares in that folder. Uh, the installation folder, um, <clears throat> as you recall when we installed Joomla, it runs the install app or install application web app, I guess is the full, and its job is simply to set up the environment for Joomla. Um, set up the database, the site description, uh, FTP information, uh, that that sort of stuff, and we walk through that uh, process. And then once the uh, once the Joomla CMS has been installed, we typically, uh, in a, at least in a production environment, remove this folder completely because, uh, like I said, um, the framework will look and see if there's a uh, if that folder exists, and if your config uh, exists and that, and that folder exists, then it will throw an error saying that. Uh, it can't start. Uh, it's just a safety thing. Um, Joomla CMS is uh, multilingual, so um, the language s files are stored uh, inside the language folder. You'll see um, for every language that you have installed, there'll be a folder. So this is English, Great Britain. If we look in here, and these uh, INI files contain the language strings that Joomla needs to. Um, translate the user interface or the application, uh, you know, the component or, or the module uh, for multilingual uh, um, installs. So you could, when you create your um, module or your component, you can actually set it up to support uh, more than one language, and, and we will cover that. So anyway, that's where, <clears throat> excuse me, that's where all the um, language files would go. 
The next one here, layouts. Uh, Joomla 3 uh, supports uh, shared layouts. Um, and I, I don't know a lot about it, but I know that the layouts folder, um, if, if you want the same look and feel across uh, you know, several components um, and several modules, that you can um, put shared layouts in here. Um, uh, by allowing you to you know to group them together, uh, so Joomla groups its commons layouts in this folder. Okay, and uh, you can use these uh, layouts that are in here in your own components, or you can even override them if you want. And we'll talk about layout overrides uh, in a later video. Libraries. Uh, this folder has all the code that Joomla needs to run, and it contains the CMS, uh, the legacy, uh, any uh, third party like. Um, uh, UTF-8 and SimplePy uh, um, uh, libraries. You can uh, create your own libraries and install them in here so that uh, you can have common code that would be available uh, across multiple uh, components or modules. Um, the next folder here, logs. The logs folder so uh, is where Joomla will um, log any information. Normally we don't make this um, folder visible to the outside world. I uh, want to protect that. Uh, but within your own applications you can use a class called JLog um, to log information about your own component. Logging would be uh, better um, uh, to do, you know, for to, to record information instead of giving some ugly error uh, to the user. Media is where you would put assets for your component or your module and typically you would have a folder uh, underneath that with uh, like com and your component or mod and your module or uh, PLG and your plugin and inside of these is where you would find uh, any JavaScript cascade, uh, cascading style sheets images and this is typically uh, stuff that won't change in your component. So you maybe you have a set of buttons that you want to use. That's not something that we're going to let uh, a user change. So rather than putting them in the images folder, we'll put that stuff in the media folder. The stuff stored to the media folder, folder is done through your manifest uh, when you create your component. And we'll talk about more of that when we start creating modules and components. Next is the modules folder. Um, just like the components, uh, a module, when you write a module for uh, Joomla, they're stored under here in, in a folder called mod underscore and then the name of the module. So, you know, we see the uh, login module here, um, the finder module, and these are, you remember, modules are little things that sit on the side of Joomla that are, uh, that are addendum to the um, component. So, if we write a module, it'll be called mod underscore whatever and it would be stored in this folder and uh, we'll talk about um, just like on the components we'll talk about the um, folder layouts that are required under these when we get to that. Plugins are just like modules except for plugins uh, the folders typically uh, are just the name of the plugin um, oh I'm sorry the plugin belongs to a certain group um, whether if it's content or authentication or something and then if we look uh, under those for like the content plugins we'll find these these are the plug plugins installed if we write a content plugin let's say it's uh, some some content we would create a folder here for it under the content folder under plugins so but again when we get into plugins we'll we'll talk about that templates uh, templates are uh, what define kind of the look and the feel of Joomla. Um, depending on the template you have installed, the, the front end of the site could look radically different. Uh, by default, um, Joomla is installed with two front end templates. There's Bees 3 and Protostar. Um, you can add more templates. If we were to write a template, it would have a folder in here just like a component. Uh, template is another type of extension. Uh, however, um, I've tried doing templates and I just uh, horribly lack uh, the creative expertise to do them I think but you know maybe we can cover a little bit of that. Uh, the temp folder is just like it sounds uh, it's where temporary files are held uh, for example if I up if we upload uh, our extension that we've written uh, to Joomla Joomla will typically uh, put the extension in the template uh, folder or the temporary folder, I'm sorry, and extract it and then do the install and then clean up after itself. So the, that's exactly what it's, um, 
it's just temporary data. Okay, the files that are in the root um, folder, the HT access file is a sample file that you can use um, you know, if your server runs Apache. Uh, the files used to control how Apache uh, handles some things. For example, if you want Joomla friendly URL encoding, you'll have to uh, use this file uh, to control the rewriting of the URLs. Okay. Of course, the index.php. This is the site. Uh, uh, this is the file that the site loads when we start up. Uh, the license text uh, is a copy of the GNU license that. Uh, uh, Joomla is written under. Uh, if you've never read it, I would encourage you to read it. Uh, it's not that long. The README text uh, is just a file that talks about Joomla, explains what it is, how you can get updates, how you can participate, and stuff like that. If you've not read it, I would encourage you to read it. The robots.txt.dist file are instructions uh, for the robots out there, you know, like Google, when they index your page. Obviously, they have no need to index the stuff that's physically here. They really just need to index the data that's created dynamically through the web page. So this prevents the um, uh, search engine from indexing through these folders. So um, in a production environment, you definitely want to uh, set that file up. If you open that file, we'll open this with gedit, you'll see up here, um, how to set it up and what you need to do and 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 it gives you an example of hey don't index these folders so it's pretty simple and then web config text is for uh, Internet Information Explorer and it is uh, just like uh, uh, HT access is for Apache so uh, you can read the uh, you can open these files and read them and we'll give you information on how to use those but because we're in a development environment we really I'm not really wanting to rewrite URLs I want you to see the URLs and and how we're capturing that information and that sort of stuff so that concludes the list of the files and folders that are included in the site application um, uh, these folders um, uh, are in the context of the front end except for administrator and installation. Remember those are separate uh, um, uh, applications to Joomla and when we install um, Joomla the installation folder goes away so we're not going to cover that so we're going to take a look at what's inside administrator. So the administrator uh, folder this is where uh, where the administrator um, application resides uh, so when you go to your site like joom.dev slash administrator pulls up the index PHP in this folder launches the uh, framework and and off it goes so the cache is just like on the front uh, front end or the site application this is where we're going to store uh, data that uh, may not change frequently so that it's already built and Joomla just needs to pick it up and send it out saving some time on uh, that it takes to deliver the web page components just like the front end the back end has components uh, each component is uh, uh, created in a, a folder underneath this one called com underscore something when we uh, start uh, uh, writing uh, of, of a component will obviously uh, for the back end portion of it is a com underscore and then our component name so that's the same hierarchy, uh, hierarchy uh, as the site uh, application or the front end um, as far as how the folder structure under these we will talk about these folder structures when we get to um, writing components help uh, this folder holds the uh, servers that uh, provide the help system for the back end of Joomla and translations um, I don't know I'm not quite sure how that ties into your your component help or if you tie that one directly I've always put my component help within the component itself so we'll have to explore some of that some more the includes just like uh, just like the f site application the front end the back end um, uh, in, uh, index PHP opens up this file to get its uh, defines grabs the frameworks and then grabs some other other helper and toolbar stuff that's available in the back end that's not available in the front end. So this is the bootstrap code that starts the um, the application for the administrator um, application. Uh, the next folder is language and just like the site um, just like the site application or the front end um, we're able to support multiple languages in the back end or the administrator application and those language files just like uh, the front end 
you'll have one folder for each language that you have and inside the folder will be the INI files that contain the language strings. Um, now one thing that you'll discover is that we have other options about where to place our language uh, strings for our application and we'll talk about that more when we get into um, writing our own um, applications uh, for Joomla extensions for Joomla whether it's a component or a module or a plugin or whatever. Uh, manifest folder, this folder holds the XML documents for uh, the files that are installed in Joomla, the libraries and the packages. Now the files, these are the individual files um, that make up the Joomla CMS. Uh, they're all detailed in this XML file. You'll see that's quite large. The um, the uh, I'm sorry, the libraries are um, remember on the sites front end we had a libraries folder where we have third party uh, things installed um, you know like SimplePy and UTF-8 this is uh, where Joomla tracks what libraries are installed in the CMS and finally have packages. Packages uh, are kinda neat and hopefully we can take some time to uh, learn how to do a package. A package are or would be multiple uh, extensions installed at the same time all as part of a package so maybe we write a component that uses uh, a couple custom plugins and has a couple modules that would go with it we can actually set those up so that we're installing all five of those things at the same time and those are handled with packages so we'll get into that uh, hopefully uh, in a future video just like um, the f front end um, they're Back end has modules and modules are stored uh, under this folder, and they're all you know prefixed with the mod underscore whatever the name of the mod is. And again, we'll talk more about this as we uh, do modules. And finally, just like the um, front end, the back end has a templates folder that uh, will hold uh, templates that define the look and the feel of uh, the of the Joomla back end. So that's pretty much uh, sums up the files and folders that are created when you install Joomla. Uh, I know I didn't go into great detail about some of them, but uh, we'll learn their use and naming conventions as we go through the process of learning to develop extensions. Uh, thank you for your participation. Again, I apologize. I'm not a great speaker. Um, I, I don't know this stuff uh, real well, but what, what I do know, I think it's uh, important to share and give back to the community. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please come visit my site at uh, myheap.com. If you go to Technology Exploring Joomla 3, uh, you'll get to um, the page where I've posted these videos. And then uh, as as we develop um, um, the the uh, episodes, they'll be listed in in a menu item over here. So uh, for ease. I've created a, a 3.x episode guide and it will show the episodes <clears throat> as uh, as they come up and, and a little blurb about them here. The one that you're watching now is obviously coming soon because I haven't uh, posted it. But down here these will be uh, below, the, uh, below the episode guide, uh, the development tools, these are the uh, uh, you know, setting up your developing uh, environment. Uh, a walk in the weeds. Now, this is my attempt at humor. A walk in the weeds is uh, not really, you know, how to program uh, a component or setting up a specific development thing or something like that. But this, I'm trying to uh, set the side, this part here aside, so that there's a uh, uh, kind of a, you know, just an overview of how something in Joomla works or uh, uh, for example, I think one of the next uh, videos will be the execution cycle, understanding how the execution cycle works in Joomla, on how the mo where the modules get pulled in, how the template gets pulled in, how the component is run, how everything is backfilled into the template, and then finally sent out to the user. So um, if you have questions, uh, feel free to comment below this video, or you can hit the contact us link at the top of the page and send an email. Um, I don't know that I can answer everybody's questions, but uh, uh, thank you very much uh, for your time and your patience and your interest. Um, other than that, have a blessed day.